guys and welcome back. If you made it this far, congratulations to you. You made it to the finale, so now it's time to get ready for, with me for this wedding. If you haven't subscribed and you haven't seen all the videos since leading up to this wedding challenge, go ahead and subscribe down below and click that bell so you can get notified of every time that I post. So, let's get right into it. I have to do my makeup. It is, I don't even know what time it is. It's almost time for this wedding. I have like probably like 30 minutes to do this, so I need to get ready. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and jump right in. Um, I got rollers in my hair. I'm keeping it real because I'm keeping it real because I'm keeping it real. Um, we're just going to get right into it. This is how I usually get ready for a wedding. So let's go. First thing I'll put my ring on because I don't want to leave that behind. Okay, so first I start off with my Master Primer. Master Prime. Okay, my Bling. And I just... Um, prime my face out so I really I want to talk about the challenge um, I'm glad I did the challenge and I will show you my results at the end so keep watching but first we're gonna do my makeup because I'm looking crazy um, so I'm gonna start with primer oh and oh lotion I always put lotion on too all day moisturize lotion I put that on as well it's usually the first thing I put on and then I do the primer but it's okay so we'll do the lotion and then I do um, put on a primer as well because I realized I was dry, so I'm going to put this lotion on. Trust me, disclaimer, this is not, I am not a makeup guru or anything like that. I'm only just showing you like, I just want to show you my look and how I get ready for this wedding. So, hope you enjoy that. So, for this challenge, um, I... I'm glad I challenged myself to do this because I'm back to the primer guys um, because um, I actually pushed myself and challenged myself to do something that I've been trying to do for a while I mean I'm trying to been I've, I've done it before in the past where I've done this workout like I said for about like five weeks it's a five week or six week challenge and I did it for five whole weeks and I did see results but then um, life got a hold of me and I cut back to working out from five days down to like two to three again and I noticed you know that I kind of crept up and gained some more weight and I was like what is going on like why have I gained weight because when I you know first started YouTube I was like 138 and then when I started this challenge I was 141 and I'm like okay I'm vegetarian like where is this weight coming from? Is it from the sweet potatoes? Like, what is causing me to gain weight? So now I'm using the Imon. I use the Imon um, Earth Number no. Five um, Cream to Powder, or yeah, Cream to Powder. And I just go ahead and I try to fix any of my imperfections, which I do have, guys. I'm not perfect, um, so I usually like to put this underneath my eyes. And this is just like how I do my face, because I know everyone's face is different, and everybody. Um, you know, you watch these people on YouTube and you're like, okay, I can't do that to my face because I would look like a clown. So I just am going to do it based off, I'm going to show you how I do my face and I will literally just go with what my face is doing. So I have dark circles under my eyes so I go ahead and I always lighten, I lighten those up because they're dark and... I want them to blend the rest of my face so I usually lighten those and then I take this and I also lighten up my eyelids because they're darker to match up with the rest of my face and then I have like a couple blemishes and I go and I use this as the kind of like a concealer and I conceal up those anyway like I was saying like I went vegetarian <clears throat> and I was, I've been vegetarian all this year but I think I was you know I was eating things that you know they're vegetarian but you know like sweet potato fries are vegetarian but <clears throat> if you eat those like a lot then you can gain weight tacos you know you can i was eating vegetarian tacos but if you're eating a lot of sour cream and this and that and not substituting it for greek yogurt in this then you can totally you can actually you can gain weight being vegetarian i mean french fries are vegetarian you know sweet potato fries you know are vegetarian you're considered vegetarian but it's easy to gain weight and so why why I wanted to do this challenge because I wanted to lose that weight that I had gained that was a couple extra pounds and you know, I wanted to see if I actually could do that in two weeks you know 
before this wedding and I just used the wedding really the wedding was just used as motivation which I always do that in my fitness goals is use weddings as motivation and I wanted to see like can I actually lose this weight you know in that short period of time and um, you know you'll see if I met that goal or not <laughs> okay guys um, and it was a challenge it was difficult working out every single day I was tired I was sore you know but I pushed through and I did it next I'm gonna work on my brows I just do my brows next oh and please don't come for me I did my mommy nails myself so please don't come for me <laughs> guys um, so I just brush my brows down like I said I'm not an expert I literally just brush them you know go with the grain of whatever my eyebrow is doing and then I go in and I use this Ulta Beauty automatic brow pencil okay and it's the Ulta Beauty Ulta automatic brow pencil I use that and it's probably in the darkest shade it's medium it says medium but it's pretty dark and I line that I just line my go right along the line of my um, brows and I just kind of fill them in a little bit because my eyes are a little spaced out. But yeah, I'm glad I did this challenge because it really did challenge me. And it challenged me to get up early. Like I said, some days I got, up, I got up really early and got my workout in before the kids even got up. And that's a challenge in itself to do because whenever I start waking up early, they get up earlier. And it's hard because it's like they are... It's so in tune with you as a mom that they know like it feels like it seems like a lot of times they know what you're doing So it's like if you try to wake up earlier and say okay for this next few weeks I'm gonna to try to wake up earlier before them, you know, and You know like maybe 30 minutes to an hour before them so I can do this or that and then they start waking up too So then it's like well That was supposed to be my time and now it's you know you, you end up doing your same old routine um, and so that's what happened, you know, a couple days I was able to do that and I feel like I have to switch it up so I can like throw them off, like one day to wake up super early and then another day wake up with the same time they do and I don't know, but I have to be strategic in getting my workouts in and that's how I get them done with the kids, like I said, sometimes I feel like I'm playing games with the schedule, but it's whatever works I mean it's whatever you have to do to get the get the workout in because for moms it's really challenging and like I said our kids are attuned to us so if we wake up they're up too and they hear you you know they hear you moving around and things so now I'm using this NYX mascara um, it's actually an eyebrow mascara and I just brush that along I use that to brush along my um, eyebrows as well so I just feel like a mom and working out is really difficult in itself it's a challenge and so like I said I just took that and I challenged myself and said you know what I'm just gonna take a small a short window of time and see okay can I do this in a short window of time like it's not gonna be you know it's just a, it was like a trial error to, trial not an error but it was a trial and it did work you know I did see amazing results um, in that short period of time and it can be done and we have to push ourselves as mommies and as women um, sometimes you have to push yourself if you want to get those goals reached because you can do them and it shows that you know if you just start small and you just challenge yourself for a small window of time you can see um, you can see results and so Next, I'm moving on. I'm going to line my brows with this Fit Me concealer. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we're going to this wedding. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry, man. I want to eat. I want to eat some pasta. Um, shoot, whatever they got. That is my favorite part of weddings. I love a good pasta because I'm vegetarian. So, <laughs> if I can get a good pasta, I am living. Okay, you just made my day. You give me a delicious pasta at your wedding. Uh, and I want to put chicken. Obviously, I don't eat chicken. I'm vegetarian. Uh, salad, but look, I'm going in. And also cake. Like, what's your favorite part of weddings? Like, I love cake. I love the cake. I don't know why. I always like the cake and obviously the dancing, but um, 
I always want to know what kind of cake someone's going to have because people have all these different types of cakes at their weddings and like I think you know it's so interesting when people have like these different types of cakes like we went to this one wedding like this castle wedding gorgeous and they had a pistachio cake who I mean have you ever had a pistachio cake like I haven't um but it was really really good and I liked it a lot and I just remember I kept going back secretly and getting more pieces of cake because they were out there, I mean, for the taking. And so I just went for it. Um, and it was really, really good. Um, I think for our wedding, we had like a pina colada. For my, my, my actual wedding, we had a pina colada cake, um, which a lot of people thought was different. And it was delicious. Um, and we also had, obviously we had a groom's cake, um, too, and, um, the groom's cake my mother-in-law made, and it was, um, like a fruit cake, and it was delicious. So, like, I like the cakes, I'm here for the cake, you know, I'm the one holding up the picture in the photo booth talking like, I came for the cake, because <laughs> I love it, I love the cakes, for real. So... So I'm just going in here, I went under my eyebrows, and I'm just gonna filling in like spots. Like my face, like it's naturally contoured, kind of. So I really just follow the natural contour. It's naturally contoured above my eyebrows and below them, and in the center of my face. It's naturally lighter. So I honestly just go with that. I just, I just go with it and do what my face does. And that's the best way to do your makeup is do what your face is doing because you can follow somebody else's routine and you will look crazy. But if you go with what your face is doing, you're gonna look amazing. So, um, I don't know if anyone else did the challenge with me. I hope you did. If you did, I hope you got amazing results. If you did, please put, you know, it lives in the comments down below um, if you did the results and what they were and, or, or I'll leave it on Instagram if you did the before and after picture and hashtag wedding challenge on Instagram so I can see your results. I still want to see them. Um, I love seeing people's results. So challenge yourself. Like I said, if you didn't do it, um, you still can. So now I'm going to go in with this professional and I'm going to stick it, the professional. I'm going to stick that on my cheeks because after I had my kids, like, I realized, like, I have, my pores got so much bigger. I don't know why, but they did. So now they're huge under there. So I have to go in, go in, okay, with my professional and go on my cheeks because that's where I get the most crazy pores. That's where my pores get crazy and they just want to get big and stuff. But anyway. Um, I'm excited to dance for this wedding. Like I said, if you haven't watched the challenge, you need to watch it so you can see me in my feelings, do my in my feelings challenge. And of course, I've been practicing, guys. I'm gonna kill it on the dance floor. That's how my main goal or whatever is to do that. So we'll see if I get this wedding on time because I am pressed for time. So that's that. That's all I really did. I just went in and did my eyebrows. I did my main face and just try to smooth everything out so that's that and then um the next thing i do is like once i have my eyebrows and everything done and i just comb them See, I'm gonna go to next. I'm gonna go to my eyeshadow palette, and I love this. It is Judy Time palette, and I like it's Judy Time. I don't know if anyone watches her, but shout out to her. Um, I use I actually use her palette because it's good for any woman of color. Like, look at that. Look at all the gorgeous colors. Yeah, and I use the basic ones the most. Like, I use. Oh, it's getting dark in here. So I use these. I'm gonna show you this. 
colors. Oh no, no, it's too orange. Oh no. Oh, sun, where are you today? Sun is hating on me today, guys, so if it's too dark, I apologize. But yeah. The sun hates me right now. 